I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. My respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I want this time with you to be my last memory. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together forever. I love you, Max. See you around. Shit, where are my keys? Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Max, you get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. So glad to see Chloe. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. You have to. She needs to know the good and the bad about this entire situation. She needs to know that she's only alive because William isn't. That's all we could do to help her. Let's get up. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So glad Chloe isn't mad at us now. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Oh, I can take a photo of Chloe. Hello. Well, we're just taking all the photos of her. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Lots and lots of cigarettes. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. I want to read it, but I want to listen to the song first. Oh, look. Boobs. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. That's my Chloe. I'd rather have a life of oh wells than a life of what ifs. That's exactly... I'm getting lost in all this shit. That's exactly like why we need Chloe to be like this and not in a wheelchair. Huh. Okay. Let's read this now. Damn. 
This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. The Great Northwest, the Prescott's Pan Estates, Heaven or Hell, by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. That's that's a very fortunate uh, word, or, well, very fortunate wording, but I don't think the writer knows as much as we do. Okay. Once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better bay days, despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a st stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forests near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, development? citing a widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Yeah, that's what we need. Any dirt we can get on the Prescotts. They they seem evil, as William said. Um the email. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. Uh, from Arcadia Bay Police Department to Chloe Price. Miss Price, this is Officer Anderson Berry, and since we have your contact info on the on file here, we'd like you to come by the station on Monday morning at approximately 8 a.m. to answer a few questions about any information you may have regarding a recent break in at Blackwell Academy and the fact that your car was in it identified in the parking lot around the same time. We look forward to clearing this up. Officer Berry, ABPD. Huh, okay. Okay, okay. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Maybe you can. Oh, that was a magazine. I feel like we're missing a major clue. Keep digging, Chloe. Examine the board. Frank's diary, pictures, Kate. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Hmm. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. <sighs> okay. Whatever you say, Max. As Chloe said, it's your power. Oh no. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. We need to help the bird. Can you open the window for it? 
Yeah, you can, but I wanna see the bird first. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. I don't think he would be in there. He's probably sleep sleeping on the couch. Uh, if we are to believe what Joyce said about staying in a hotel and stuff. Hey, birdie. Hello. Oh, you can scare the bird. Okay. Uh, was she your face or something? It's been kind of stressful. Hmm. No picture of the birdie, apparently. Alright, let's free you, bird. Open the window for the bird. So that he won't fly into the glass again and hurt or kill itself. Hush, birdie. Still concerned about the electricity. Hey, bird. Fly, be free. Yeah, you go. Don't be flying into any other windows. Well, I kind of hope the bird will stay alive, seeing how many of his friends are now dead. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> it's no place for a bird to be inside a house anyway, so I bet whatever happens, he will be happier outside. Oh, hello. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Exactly. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Oh, David. As Max said, it wasn't the intention to break the family or anything. Let's look at the door. I helped Joyce lose William and now David. Well, yeah, I was thinking about that. I mean, they were kind of a pickle with the bills, so it's probably even worse now that David's gone. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Except you are looking at pictures of Chloe only. <laughs> what did Warren send us? Oh, everybody's being blasted in our phones with messages. Um, what does Warren say? Oh, he's been sending a lot of texts. Um, I already read this. B fucking minus? I got a B minus on my chem test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch. Warren the wounded. The B minus, it burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes. My folks were shit. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. <laughs> Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. At least I still get get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to chat. Talk to you later. What? Chloe told you that... Max and she kissed? 
Cartwheel, that's not cool. <laughs> Mom. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? We're right in the eye of the storm. Yes, I even killed my plant, Lisa. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Get another. One plant was stressful enough. Now back to the books. Talk soon. Exo Maxo. <laughs> Don't know if that was new or not. Well, Exo Maxo is new. Max, thank you for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. But it's so much more than that, Miss than that. My father is grateful as well. You will always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can, promise. I think we already read that, but... Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you, and your bunny misses you. Yay, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you, XO Maxo. Justin? This is weird. Mm. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Justin has been texting weird. Weird crap. Hey Justin, you're busy. Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> Juliet? Um. Hey, Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from ace reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> Max. Max doesn't want anybody else involved. Apparently. Dad, hey. Hey honey, I just got the weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I probably haven't even given it to you. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Courtney? Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework. No, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. Uh, Chloe. What did she send? Yeah, she probably apologized for for the for lashing out at us. Hey man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullshit rage on my best friend. Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window up and busted out my rewind. <laughs> okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. Well, that's kind of Julia's last name, but okay. <laughs> so Max is Sherlock, apparently. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO. That was no emoji. <laughs> All right. All right. Huh. TV. Those poor whales are like beached angels. 
What is going on here? Yeah, I'm pretty bummed that the whales got beached even in this this reality. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. All right, it was the Paris jar. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. It's from Joyce. Yeah. Sorry, David, but kind of had to have to choose sides there. Did I actually cause that clock to stop? Oh, there's a ladybug stuck in the dials. Huh. So a ladybug was keeping it from working. Huh. That's cute. Now we could snoop around everywhere again. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Uh, we should probably go outside for a while. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Well, Max, you're just human. You can't help everybody. You can save some people and others you can't. This... No, Max, don't go. Don't go here yet. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I don't want to be here yet. Can I go back? <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping you it's from- It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yeah. Looks like David already booked a room. And he left his reservation out here. Okay. Maybe he wants Joyce to be able to visit him if if she wants to. Sit in the stool. Somehow I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Well, again, there are no right or wrong choices. You help some and damage others. There is no right or wrong reality. And... Well, if you make a mistake, it might be a fortune to somebody else. You can't keep blaming yourself. You have an amazing power, you have the power to choose, but at the same time you cannot choose. Go out, get some fresh air, take some optional photos, perhaps. What's this? William never finished painting that wall. Yeah, yeah. Any bird nests around? Or just dead birds? Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. No, nope, he might have not even noticed. I don't know if he's been outside in the backyard with all of this going on. Hmm. 
There's a basketball there. I know there must be a photo opportunity here, but where? Like, we saw bird nests and like, what else was there? Like, a bird nest, yeah, like on a, on a plank. Well, it might not be a bird nest, but I'm pretty sure if we are going to find it, it's gonna be here. I mean, it might be a bird nest or it might not, because sometimes the pictures are a little bit cryptic. So it might just have to do with birds and not be an actual nest. Hmm. I can't really find anything. Look through the entire yard. Anything there? Hmm. There has to be something here. Has to. Other than this wall. I really can't find anything. It's a shame. I'm probably gonna miss a photo now. I'm just being dumb or blind. I don't know. Like, I don't even know how I missed that statue in the last episode. I tried looking at every statue. And I still missed it. It's kind of pretty outside, though. Okay, let's give up. Get back inside. See the garage. There's a note. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best Sean Fresh Cut. Huh. Well, I doubt David will talk to us about it now. He even left his guns here. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. I really hope he isn't planning on taking his own life. He's probably very, very depressed right now. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Of course. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Okay, let's see what he wrote. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the surveillance and suspicion and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch, you kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Yeah, I really should finish that. I mean, I kind of don't think David is all bad, and I think he knows more than he lets on but he should not have hit Chloe like I am so mad at him for hitting Chloe and like he has issues like serious issues with trust and aggression but 
but I feel like he is a very useful pawn in this entire thing. So he kind of had to choose between him and Chloe. Of course, we'll pick Chloe. We want the best for our best friend. What's this? I wonder if David is going to the party. Yeah, probably he is. He will probably be stalking and sur surveying anything he can. By the way, it's Thursday, so I think it's today. Yeah. Warning, I don't dial 911. <laughs> okay. Email? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Uh, David Madsen from Principal Wells to David. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Ms. Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new era of black hole security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best Principal Wells. Mm. Okay. Oh my god, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Uh, from from Michelle Grant to David, I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Mrs. Grant. And she, please decide whether she's a miss or missus. I've seen both now. <laughs> Is she married or not? I don't want to give her the wrong title or anything, so <laughs> just trying to do what's correct huh at least he has one weird fan who is his fan from anonymous okay dear mr madsen i just wanted to let you know i think it's bullshit what happened to you and this school has too many lip dark metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the f or the military <laughs> metrosexuals okay I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Black Hole and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of this school. Huh, who might be scared? Hmm. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Uh, this is from Dave, David to Principal Wells. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. Hey, how can you say that? There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. Yeah, it's probably somehow related to drugs. Hmm, how about this map? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts too. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Let's see... I don't even remember anywhere anymore what we were supposed to get. I mean, I guess... Clues? But what kind of clues? No. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that walker. Hey, David, what you hiding? News. All right. Wasn't it like seven one seven one? Bingo. I knew that number would be important. I'm pretty impressed I remembered. I usually don't. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What does it say? Blackwell Academy parking. She knows something. These are coordinates, yeah. He even saw that altercation with 
Nathan? Oh, heck. That's... Whose car is that? It's not Chloe's, I don't think. Why did you take a pic of us? Why? Oh, <laughs> score. Back to Chloe now. I want to snoop around more. <gasps> There's the bird nest. Oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Oh no. I bet the blue jay that we freed was the mother of these eggs. Now she won't get to take care of them. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. Excuse on. me. Just one picture, please. I don't think the mother is coming back. You can move it back, though. Take a photo. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Move it back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. I bet they are safe there. Nobody will, uh, well, you know, disturb them. But I think the mama bird is is gone because we'll let her out. Oh. Should we maybe open the window upstairs? To let her come back. Maybe she would come back. Maybe. I hope so. Or then she will die like Oh I can call her. Can I can this I go? It's so my fault that Joyce kicked David out. Max Caulfield, homewrecker. Can I go upstairs? No, I need to call. Call Chloe. Okay. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. Yeah, let's go see Kate. I feel bad for the birdies. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Oh, Chloe. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm on it. We will. Oh, I'm so excited to see Kate. I hope she's doing well. Oh, hey, Kate. I've, I've been feeding your bunny. He's adorable. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. 
I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, Kate. Let's look at your drawing. <laughs> I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I miss my banana. Love of mustard. Bored cat. Where is she? Walk, walk. Here. <laughs> That's adorable. What's the book? Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, she's doing schoolwork. She's so hardworking. Um. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. So he sent an email to Kate. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such outpour outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your, given your cir circumstances, but it's important you know that we do care. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. That's sweet. But to be honest, I don't I don't believe Victoria's words at all. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. They did. They are a cute little family. Hey, Kate. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. It is. She seems a lot happier. Oh. Okay. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Yeah, wasn't Taylor's mom in the hospital as well? If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Yeah, religion is nice when you can use it to your... You know, use it to improve your mental status, etc. I mean, it helps you through bad times. That's when it's good. I don't think get well is quite apropos. But why not? She's She wasn't doing well. Now she's doing better. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Hmm. Well, I kind of want to talk about both of these. Can I talk about them all? I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Hmm. Well, this time no boys allowed. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. 
Mm, I kind of want to talk about Nathan too. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? No. Well, you do know about the family? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. Yeah. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell oh, everybody Alice, loves Max. Soon. We shall. Let's sit here for a while. Another broody moment. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. It is. It's nice we got to visit Kate here. I don't even know what would have happened if she had... If we wouldn't have been able to save her. Where... What would we be doing right now? Let's not think about that too much. Can we talk to you more? Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Okay, she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. Nothing more to say. Alright, see you later, Kate. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. <laughs>